So this is a tall fescue ready lawn install at a uh, property in Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, the customer had been wanting a new lawn for a while here and they did used to have a lawn area but it was mostly weeds and uh, since the neighbours got rid of some large trees along the boundary there's a lot more light get into the lawn area so it was a good time to put in a new lawn. Prior to this video I'd already sprayed the existing lawn to kill off any of the grasses and weed species that were present and as you can see there's that top layer there that we're digging up that's all died off. So the first stage was obviously to remove this top layer of grass and soil and that helps to get rid of any of the roots from the old grass and means that we can bring in some fresh new healthy soil for the new ready lawn to settle into. Here we're starting on the irrigation. I'd already planned out the um, irrigation in terms of the pop-ups and how much pipe we needed. Because of the odd shape of the lawn area, I decided to go with three 90 degree pop-up sprinklers in the corners and then one 180 degree pop-up sprinkler in the middle, which would help to supplement the other sprinklers. After screeding with the timber to get a nice flat surface and compacting with the roller, I then put down some starter lawn fertilizer to help the roots of the new lawn establish. And then it was time to start bringing the lawn rolls up onto the lawn area, ready to start laying the lawn. Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Just thought I'd share a quick tip in terms of the uh, ready lawn here, which is that you want to be having the ready lawn all rolling out the same way. So all of these are ready to roll out in the same direction towards that wall over there. Um, otherwise you're going to get odd coloured lawn, uh, which you obviously don't want. And it's the same principle behind uh, the pitches and cricket pitches and that sort of thing where they've got dark lines and light lines it's just the angle of the lawn but yeah you want to have them all rolling out the same way to get a nice consistent colour of the lawn
The square tool that I'm using here to compact the gravel for the pavers is called a tamper. It's really good for little projects like this where a proper compactor is a bit overkill. And then the tool I'm using to cut around the pavers and that I use for the rest of the lawn is just a simple Stanley knife with a fairly long blade. Finally the lawn needed one more roll to remove any air pockets and press the lawn onto the soil. Then all that was left to do was tidy up, pack away all the tools, check the irrigation, and then enjoy the finished lawn. Irrigation working nicely, so I think we are all done.